sustainability is at the cornerstone of what we're doing. We really seek to make a change in the way that buildings and cities come together. And when you think about the ways that you can decarbonize, construction has to be part of that toolkit. And for us, modular construction is a way to really start building Class A architecture using the next generation of technology. Assembly OSM is a high-rise modular builder. So we take the technology that's been pioneered in aerospace and automotive and use that to build large buildings in major urban areas. The best example of all of this is our first project in Brooklyn, so the Fort Greene neighborhood. We actually had to balance the needs of a modular product with the needs of building in a historic district. To really create efficient modular buildings, we need to integrate three industries into one space, and that is architecture, manufacturing, and software engineering. And like Katia and the SOS products are perfect for that. Standardization drives manufacturing efficiency, but the necessity to have a level of customization to actually make it work in a city. So when you combine that, you're able to deliver buildings in major urban areas in a way that other modular approaches aren't able to achieve. The TF really helps us have full control of the geometry in the initial stage of product design. It also helps us update the products during design development pretty seamlessly and then quickly propagate them uh, across different building conditions. It really kind of helps bridge the gap between the repeatability and the customization of that initial product. We focus on reducing the embodied carbon that goes into our buildings where we just reduce the amount of material that goes in, reduce waste in our facility, so we're able to deliver an operating building with about 70% less operating carbon than a conventional building. So rather than operating a giant factory where you're replicating construction under a roof, what we do is we manage an assembly plant, our name kind of gives it away, where we take all of those sub-assembly components and create the volumetric modules that then stack up to 30 stories tall. I'm really excited about what we're doing because for the last 10 years, I've been building buildings the conventional way. And you can see that there's so much room for improvement. Changing a legacy industry like construction is going to be hard. But for us, it's really about executing and starting to demonstrate that we're actually capable of making impacts in a way that drives productivity, drives the impact on emissions and carbon, and really drives the ability to make construction more scalable in markets that it really is not easy to build housing.